clinical crown denotes that part of the tooth which is visible in the oral cavity and uh, it shows the size and shape of the incisors and up to molars. Histologically, they are almost similar. The root is the embedded portion of the tooth and the junction between them is the cervical margin. The tooth proper can be subdivided into enamel, which is the epithelial cell derived tissue. It consists of a hard inner acellular enamel, which is highly mineralized, supported by a less mineralized, more resilient and vital hard connective tissue dentin, which is formed from and supported by the dental pulp, a soft connective tissue. Enamel, dentin, pulp, cementum. Enamel is the outer hard covering of the tooth, while in the root, the outer covering of the tooth is named as cementum. The secondary layer is the dentin, starting from the crown portion up to the root. The inner soft core makes up the whole of the throughout the tooth and it is named as the pulp, which is a soft connective tissue. Enamel, covering of the crown, cementum, covering of the root. Dentin is a living heart tissue under enamel and cementum. Pulp is the soft tissue located in the pulp canal and pulp chamber. Main sections of the tooth. The crown is the visible part. Below the crown is the root which is below the gum margin or the gingiva. Then is the cervix, neck. This is the neck of the tooth. Apex. Apex makes tip of the tooth. Apex. Enamel, dentin, and coming down upon these are the periodontal ligaments, which are the attaching apparatus or the connecting apparatus of the tooth. And this is the gingiva. And the porous portion comprises the bone. Pulp connects the tooth to the main nerve and blood supply. Through the apex. Another big term is the periodontium. These are the structures that support and surround the tooth. Alveolar process or rich periodontal ligament, gingiva or gums and the fourth of the periodontium is the cementum. These all are the connecting structures. The boundaries of the oral anatomy or the oral cavity are the labial frenum, labia, palatine tonsils, uvula which is which can be seen as a hanging in the center of the mouth. Then is the lingual frenum and embrasure in the lingual part of the mouth and a lingual frenulum. There are palatine tonsils inside the mouth, as you can see. Identifying the teeth. Teeth are several in sizes, in shape. They vary with their uh, functional functions. The incisors, which are the anterior teeth, used for cutting of the food. The cuspids. Cuspids mean a single cusp. The cuspids are, the, are also named as eye teeth for tearing of the food. Then are the bicuspids, which are the premolars. They are not present in the deciduous dentition. They are only present in the permanent dentition. Then we have the molars. The molars are the largest tooth, posterior in region, or the posterior teeth. They are largest and strongest. We have two set of jaws, the upper and the lower jaw. The upper is called the maxillary, the lower is named as the mandibular jaw. The tooth size and shape in the maxillary is more stronger and prominent than the lower jaw. In the dent deciduous dentition, we have 20 tooth number or they are 20 in number, while in the permanent dentition, they are 32 in number. The primary or deciduous teeth they are the first set of teeth called the baby teeth. They are 20 in number. There are no bicuspids or premolar present in this dentition. The permanent or secondary teeth, they are the 32 in number. They are the second or permanent set of teeth. The patient's right and left can be seen, also named based on the maxillary or mandibular tooth. Slivery glands are one of the glands in the oral cavity. There are three 
in number rotted glands submandibular gland sublingual glands oral histology the signs dealing with the microscopic identification of the cells and tissues in the oral cavity the structures of the organ tissues including the composition of cells and their organization into various body tissues can be studied under the heading of the oral histology which is the cellular study oral histology is supported with by the microscopic uh, study we have two kind of microscopes the light microscope and the electron microscope in this diagram you can see the pulp tissues this diagram shows the enamel and the dentin this diagram clearly shows the attaching apparatus which is which comprises the alveolar bone the periodontal ligaments and the cementum embryology which is the origin of the tissues associated with the facial and dental development and it clarifies the cause of many congenital defects manifest in these tissues that's all folks